Hey Gavko, so I just saw your uh, contest um, or your 5,000 sub appreciation. Uh, I thought that's real cool of you to let us choose any steel we want. We have some freaking crazy steels right here if you look at that. We got 200 something dollars for this uh, bar of Damascus steel. Uh, I'm not that crazy to think that that's included, but if that is, that's very, very generous of you. That's more than most knives just for the steel. Uh, for me, a 11 steel, not all steel, just a 11. Um, if that's too high of a price point, whatever steel works, I'll be happy with your 154cm if I win, or whatever. Uh, quarter inch thick, uh, I'm hoping for this to be a chopper. And handle black and desert tan, uh, layered. I do prefer like a wider layering, but whatever works. And sheath, one side black, one side desert tan. Uh, here are kind of the specs for it. Um, yeah, kind of just your average uh, blade here, the thumb wrap. With that's actually inverted, kind of instead of it coming up out of the blade for the thumb, it goes into the blade. Uh, I did that on one of my knives that I made, and I really liked it. Uh, have yet to heat treat that knife, but uh, yeah, I just had a knife snap on me here where uh, it's probably the thinnest, so I don't know if that's doable, but I think it's a cool concept that your thumb ramp goes in instead of out. But yeah, so here are the dimensions again. Uh, the blade belly ends after 2 inches, uh, the top of the knife is 6 inches. The actual straight edge of the chopper is seven and a half. This divot, however you want to do it, is about two inches long. Handle for the actual hand is about three inches. Uh, the tail or whatever this is called is about one inch. <coughs> you got three quarter, or sorry, pardon me, three and a half inches on the bottom for this, and a three quarters inch finger toil. Uh, pardon the stains. That's I was eating dinner while that desk and spaghetti sauce has got everywhere. And yeah, um, I don't know what you guys think of this design.